Hi. I just want to talk about exams in general and I would say something called exams the great leveler. You know, there are certain situations where whatever your background may be, you might be MD, you might be DNB, whatever you know, years of experience, but when it comes to facing the exams, like suppose there must be clinical exams, it all, you know, does not matter really. For the examiner who is seeing you for the first time, he has no idea how many years of experience you have got, whether you have got an MD, whether you have got a DNB, he doesn't know. So this could be an advantage if you look at it that way. And because, you know, uh, it doesn't matter if you are good at what you are doing, if you are good at your clinical skills, if you are good at communication, you will pass the exams. So that's why I call it the great leveler. On the other hand, people who have done their, you know, a lot of postgraduate degrees and, uh, you know, uh, years of experience, it, 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 the exam in itself, because a lot of these people, even after doing so much of exams, you know, having got multiple degrees, they sometimes, to their surprise, find they, have, they could not make it to the clinicals, you know, they somehow got stuck. And then I asked why, what was it that, why couldn't it, could they not do it? And, well, you, or the last thing you can say is that, you know, that there was a um, bias. Because, as I said, these the examiners just don't know what is your background. They are just seeing a candidate and when you enter the room, when you are doing a clinical exa examination, the ease with which you are doing this sequence and the flow in which you are doing the clinical examination, you are showing the clinical science, is apparent. And that speaks for you. That, you know, how easily you are doing it, how smoothly it is flowing. The ease with which you are talking with the parent, uh, whether you are putting the child at ease, uh, where you know, how good you are establishing his rapport, this does not come like a fluke. It comes from experience, from how well you have been practicing and following the rules over a period of time. The same happens for, <clears throat> as I said, uh, if you have been doing your OPD and you have been following the principles of uh, the Royal College exams, where you, you know, make the patient comfortable, you build rapport, you introduce yourself, when you actually do the Royal College exams, it would come naturally to you. You would treat the patient, you know, the, for the examiner, it is obvious that when the way you are greeting the parent, the way you are interacting with the child, the way you are, the, you are, you know, slowing, where you are summarizing, the way you are bringing up the difficult points, where you are reassuring and responding to the parents. If you have practiced long enough, if you have repeatedly done the same things, this will be quite obvious. Whereas if you, you know, if you try to do a short crash course and you just think I'll do, you know, just make it up all in the last few days, it, it will not, you know, it will show how much you try when you are in the front of the examiner, the stress of the situation, you cannot put up a show. These things will not come out naturally and that is obvious. Moral of the story, what I've seen over the years, candidates who pass the exam effortlessly have been practicing the same thing, the communication skills, the, you know, they are sitting on the hot seat, they are practicing in front of the seniors, in front of their, you know, uh, uh, poor uh, experienced colleagues and such that these skills, these communication skills, the examination skills, the clinical examination skills like doing a CNS examination within the required time, these come as second habit to them. This become a spinal reflex in a way. This happened effortlessly. Moral of the story, practice and repeat. It sounds boring, it may sound very, you know, mundane, but practice makes perfect. And as I said, the more you practice, you do not need to fail the exam, it will just flow effortlessly. Practice makes perfect. Repetition is one of the key crucial factors which makes distinction between those who succeed in the exams and for that matter any skill or for that matter anything you want to succeed in life and those who do not make it. Best luck to you. I hope this helped you and I look forward to your comments on the matter. Thank you.